Elsa here from Just a Few Paper Designs, and today, <laughs> no paper, but food, for food. These is actually, I threw the thing away already, but this is a croissant um, roll thing. Roll thing. You see here, here are the little pieces. And uh, I just saw this, that Paula, she's like a southern cooking lady, she's white-headed, real pretty eyes. Anyway, I thought that this would be really easy. So, you spread out your croissant. And you, uh, croissant. <laughs> I can't speak English and I'm trying to speak other languages. Anyway, mm -hmm. you um, put it together so that none of those little holes will come open while you're baking it. Just like that, and it turns into one one piece. And um, put a little flour. Flour! <laughs> put a little flour on it. Just so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. And you're gonna roll it up. Roll. I should be able to say that with the R's and stuff. Draw it out like this. Now, hers turned out really nice. And here, hold that. Be my photographer and my paper holder. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is just one can of that croissant thing. And you'll probably hear a whole bunch of extra sounds you usually don't hear. <laughs> I got my grandson in the living room watching Lilo and Stitch. So if you hear like a lot of violent sounds, it's just Disney. <laughs> it's just Disney. <laughs> okay. Mothers are probably dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they always kill the mother, don't they? Okay, then you take a little brush, but I don't have a little brush. I have this huge, long, gigantic This weapon. like a sword thing, but um, mustard. And what we're doing, um, we're having the baby a birthday party in November, and we are trying to cook different, different things that we might think we want to serve for the party. But we're each other's guinea pigs, mm -hmm. and this is one of those projects. And this is just good old Frenchies, <laughs> <laughs> mustard, and. Um, I guess you put the mustard according to taste. I like a lot of mustard. Yeah. And I am, I haven't cooked one already of this, so it's not going to be like TV magic where I put this in the oven and get another one out. So after this is, and I don't know how to edit yet. So in short, there's going to be a part two. Yeah, so there's going to be a part two to this where we pull it out of the oven. Okay, and I bought these. It's the variety pack. It's got ham, turkey, and Canadian style, Canadian, Canadian <laughs> style <laughs> bacon. Okay, so we're just gonna put these on here. This is the ham. These little suckers are stuck to each other. This is the turkey. And then this is the Canadian bacon. Just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna add the whole thing. Yeah, that, that's good. That's, that's good. Like, like that. Loaded. And then I'm using mozzarella. And I love quick and easy stuff. So I hate to cook, ladies. Oh my goodness. Me too. Hate it. Yeah, but the only two times that I love to cook is Thanksgiving and Christmas. I put out a big, big spread. table spread. Yeah. So, okay. So there it is. So now you're gonna wrap this up like this. Hers didn't stick to the paper the way mine <laughs> is. She's a professional. Yeah. Even her 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 dough knows knows better than to stick. Okay, and then the other side up. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I hope so. Maybe I didn't have enough flour. And this is not one of those things that I can say cut and do it again because <laughs> I don't have any more of these supplies to make it with. Sorry for the blinding uh, arm there. No, not blinding oh. arm. Oh, that's blinding right. aluminum for you. Oh yeah. And um, this is just an egg. She said to put a little bit on here so it will stick. It's like the glue that's gonna hold this together because we're gonna wrap it again one more time like this. 
And she was doing a Halloween special, so what she was doing with hers, she turned it into a snake. She kept working it and working it, so it got really long, and then she she gave it a tail, and she put olives for the eyes, which I'm not going to do because we are just, the baby's birthday is in November, and, well, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny to have snakes <laughs> for a birthday party on the plate. People will really start talking then. <laughs> yeah. And just, she said, squeeze it really tight so that the croissant dough sticks to itself like this. And you set the oven for 375. You follow the directions that are on the croissant. Can or whatever. Yeah, <clears throat> little pouch thing. And then you just put the, what is this, egg on it to give it a little shine, mainly, she said. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, so it's going to be nice and, and it's really easy and very inexpensive. So, let me get the, um, oh, I love that song. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now this is going to transfer over to the pan. Hopefully. And it's going to go right there. And I'm going to put it in the oven and I shall return whenever it's ready. We'll cut it a piece and taste it and tell you how it turned out. How about that? Thank you, ladies. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Stop. I wanted to thank everybody that came over and followed me on my blog. I reached and surpassed my 100 mark that I was, that was my goal for the year. And I'm so ecstatic that everybody... Um, has welcomed me so so warmly into their homes and watch my videos. So thank you. Appreciate it. See you in a little bit. Bye